Hey everybody, Joseph Buer here with a really quick Blender tip for you, but before I do that, I just want to let you all know that I have recorded part 9 of the Judy Hopps rigging series, and I am currently editing it right now, and it should be out sometime this week, so uh, most likely by Thursday or Friday, so keep an eye out for that. I know it's been um, about eight, eight, nine months since I uh, posted the last video, not even going to get into all the reasons why it took me so long to actually sit down and record the damn thing, but nonetheless, it is done. I'm currently editing it. It will be out by the end of the week, hopefully. Um, so now let's get on to this quick tip, which I promise is going to be really, really quick. Um, and this uh, tip involves uh, constraining the camera to your view so that when you move around the scene, your camera moves with it. Uh, normally with Blender, if you're looking through the camera and you decide to um, uh, change your view, you will exit out of the camera view. Now, bef um, now usually the way you uh, constrain the view to your camera or your camera to your view is you would come over here in the properties panel and down here under view you would uh, select lock camera to view so now you can uh, I can uh, move uh, my uh, my camera around while I uh, navigate around the scene the problem with this is that in order to get out of this now you have to uh, uncheck that so you can uh, again, move around uh, without looking through the camera. But there is a way you can do uh, you can do both, where you can constrain your camera to your view, but when you want to exit out of that of your camera view, uh, you don't have to continuously check on and off this feature right here. And the way you do that is while you're in uh, you're uh, looking through your camera, hit Shift F on your keyboard and that will bring you into like this first person uh, kind of view and you can use um, uh, WASD on your keyboard to sort of move around kind of like in a first person uh, video game and if I hold down shift I can move faster uh, scrolling up and down on the wheel uh, will also uh, increase or decrease your speed you can hit Q and E to move up and down and when you uh, have settled on a view uh, for your camera, you can simply just um, hit enter on your keyboard. And now you're locked in, your camera's locked into place. And yeah, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to uncheck that. So um, let's do that again, just so I, you know I'm not crazy. So just moving around. Uh, you can also left, cl left click as well to lock your camera into place. And now I can move out of the camera. So uh, pretty cool and this is something that I'm not sure a lot of Blender users know about because um, normally when I watch videos on YouTube I see them use the traditional method which is that lock camera to view uh, feet, uh, check mark in the properties panel. Another cool thing about this is if you're uh, hovering um, say you've got you can right uh, you can right click out of um, out of some, out of your navigation. So if you're navigating your camera around and you're like, uh, you know what, I liked it better where it was before. You can hit right click and your camera will jump back to where it was before. Another cool thing, and I'm just going to add in a couple of uh, objects here so you can see this. Um, is say you're um, navigating around your scene and you're like, you know what, I want to zoom in on that sphere over there. Well, you've got this little reticle in the middle of your screen. You can hover that reticle over that object and middle mouse click and you'll jump directly to that object while still being in navigation mode. Um, it sh I should also point out that you don't um, necessarily have to be in um, the uh, camera view mode. Uh, in order to use that feature, you can hit Shift F um, out of it as well and um, explore your scenes as such. Uh, you can also hit G uh, on your keyboard, and that will enable gravity. And as long as there's a, a solid surface underneath you, you can walk around uh, on top of that surface. So there you go, guys. That's just a quick... Um, way for you to navigate your camera around the scene uh, without having to uh, go through the extra step of checking on uh, this box. Hope you enjoyed that tip and um, 
keep an eye out for the Judy Hopps uh, rigging tutorial uh, video, which will be, like I said before, will be out by the end of this week. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next vid.